well, what his passion is, pets, and as a member of the Chicago Veterinary Medical Association's Public Education Committee, he's here to tell us about holiday pet hazards, and I'm losing little Mr. Daniel here. <laughs> Let's say hello to Dr. Tony Kramer. Hi, Dr. Hi, Tony. Good morning. So what do we have here, Doc? This is Sapphire. This is a little terrier mixed pup for adoption. <laughs> And that's Daniel, who's uh, trying to escape on us there. <laughs> They're both pets from Help Safe Pets in Plainfield. They're Aww. both for adoption. And uh, we just wanted to make a point about getting pets around the holidays and all the different dangers and that that can be around and uh, to protect our pets. Well, let's start. We always hear about poinsettias being poisonous, and, and that is true. Well, I'll tell you, it's not as bad as it, it really seems. We talked about this being a deadly plant for years. It really isn't. Animals will get sick if they eat that, but we really want to put, point out is that lilies are very toxic and another holiday favorite and very poisonous for pets. So we've got to keep those away. Uh, holly, mistletoe, also not good for pets to get into. There are hundreds of poisonous plants to dogs, so just we want to keep the, the plants away from our pets. And, our, <laughs> and, and, a, and a, <laughs> away from Val, apparently. No, no, I think I'm going to get control here. Now, listen here, go. Daniel. Oh, there we go. Okay. But I think Daniel would really get into some trouble with some Christmas lights, right? Yeah, I mean, does, this stuff looks like cat toys, doesn't it? I mean, it just looks like it would be fun oh, oh, for a cat oh, to look, play with. Look, look, and uh, uh, we yeah. really want to talk about tinsel because this is something that we wind up doing surgery on pets all the time to get really? out of them. This can be very, because very dangerous. Because they go and eat it? They eat it, play with it, swallow it, and it will tie their intestines in a knot. It's wow. It's horrible. So, so how do you have a Christmas tree and do everything and, and keep it away well, from the Well, if you've got a little guy like that, you better skip the tinsel. That's for okay. Sure. Um, what about the lights? Lights are a problem, too, in that if they chew on the cords, a lot of extension cords are where they're getting problems. We have these extension cords that are normally mm -hmm. not there, spark right. the curiosity of the pets. If they chew on that, it's bad news. So we just want to make sure that we are very aware of that. Can a pet get electrocuted by doing that? Absolutely. Absolutely. Have you seen the movie Christmas Vacation, Val? <laughs> uh, what about uh, feeding, <laughs> feeding your uh, pet from the table? Everybody likes to feed their pet scraps and stuff. But well, the biggest problem comes around the holiday when everybody thinks, well, I'm just giving them a little taste of this holiday meal. Well, if everybody in the family does the same thing and all your uh, the friends and family that are over do the same thing, they can wind up with a you know pretty upset stomach from that. They're just not used to it, and uh, it it's a bad habit work. to start. You don't want to start, it. and you definitely want to stay away from chocolates because I hear that can be deadly. Everybody kind of seems to know about that, but every year we have cases and cases of animals that get, get into this. But you know, it's sitting on a coffee table about this high. It's right at nose level, and. It just it, we just turn our head for a moment and that can happen. Let me ask you something, Dr. Kramer, because I have a, a Shih Tzu, a one-year-old Shih Tzu, and my mother is frantic about him getting a hold of chocolate. Like, how much chocolate would actually take Kobe out? In general, we say an ounce per pound is kind of a, 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 a rule of thumb. But the bottom line is, if they really get into any, they're probably going to eat these wrappers. They're probably going to, you know, have more problems than just the chocolate. So, so if, it, if we catch it and he just has a little bite, he's not. Depending on the size of the animal and depending on the chocolate, which is always hard to tell, like baker's chocolate, if you're yeah. cooking, that stuff's much worse than milk chocolate. But if they get into a considerable amount, you better call the vet. Right. Oh Take Kobe out. That's a medical term, I think. <laughs> um, also, snow done. gloves. I didn't realize this, but with snow gloves, there's actually antifreeze inside of those? Exactly. Uh, antifreeze is a horribly toxic thing for pets. If you spill it and the dog or cat licks that, they can get into, go into renal failure real quick. So these globes that are sitting around, if a dog or cat knocks one off the table and we're, we're to get into that, it would have the same effect. So something not too many people know, but we really got to be careful about that. Yeah, and obviously you don't want to uh, get your your pet any alcohol. Exactly. <laughs> and, <laughs> unless he really had a bad day. <laughs> a I think Daniel wants some. <laughs> yeah, he might need a little bit, but yeah, it's, it's, you know, there's about two or three shots in there. You can only imagine what that does to us, and then a 20-pound animal gets into that in a couple of minutes. You know, you're opening a present, set a drink down. We've got to be real careful of that. All right. Have a safe and happy holidays for you and your pets. Dr. Tony, thank you. To find out more about Dr. Tony, head to our website.